This business is about more than anything people. It's got nothing to do with scrap metal. You want these? Oh, I needed this one. Oh, I don't need that one now. It's about how you treat the customer. As long as they're coming in, we've got a business. It's all about the knowledge of what you're doing, what you're buying, just being able to pay out to the customers. OK, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. The scrap metal world is not what the public perceive. You meet many strange people, including John. Someone come in and tried to sell me some plastic. Whatever way you cut it, plastic is not metal. We can't let them know all your secrets. I haven't got a shotgun under the counter. Well, we use baseball bats now anyway. The people we employ are oddballs. Yeah, we've got a couple of skid marks in the rear here. Because we give them a go. Probably better view from the inside. I'm working with the woman I love and respect. We don't agree with anything where business is concerned. Well, I don't agree with that. No one really knows how Sonia and John gets on. Just one kiss and then I won't want another one. When he comes into a room, my face goes sour. You know, there's a lot of love in the company. I'm not saying too much, I want to keep your job. Love builds scrap metal mountains. I think he's almost making a business in spite of himself. He likes messing about. Well, I haven't got any money. Well, this is my Ray, though. But I left me Rolex and me Cartier at home. I need to prove something to myself. And when I've done that, I'll let you know. You make your own rules up and you pay your own consequences for your own rules. So you've got some stupid questions there to catch me out, haven't you? Catch me out, it's good fun. We'll, we'll have a game of battleships. Sat at home once, watched Fame, wanted to be a dancer. So I went off to dancing school. Ballet is an amazingly difficult thing to do. It takes stamina and strength. And uh, the bigger the codpiece, I suppose, the better dancer you are in some people. But um, I had a small cod piece, um, but I was quite good at it. I got bored with that because it's full of rich kids, and if you haven't got money in there, it's just not work too well. From ballet dancer, the obvious natural progression is scrap metal. Two different elements to our business are scrap metal and clothes. Ferrous metal is magnetic, non-ferrous is non-magnetic, ferro, ferrous, Latin for something to do with being magnetic, but um, non-ferrous is where the money is. And that's the stuff that they're nicking off the roofs and pulling up train tracks to get and knocking out your mother's Wi-Fi when she's fallen down and broken her hip and wants to make a phone call to the hospital. When all the stock comes in, you've got to separate it, cut it up, get it into the back from boxes. The challenge is actually getting that stock turned around and out. We have to try and turn over about a thousand pound a day. The three types of scrap metal customer are legitimate customers, which is the main proportion of customers, um, travellers and pikies, um, and a small percent of junkies. People in the scrap metal industry are odd people. You get many kind of uh, ways and strays come in, seeing odd bits and pieces. Some people with shopping trolleys containing about three pounds worth of metal. Some people bring in thousands of pounds worth of metal. It's like going to cash converters. Money's money. And that's what attracts people to the scrap business, I think. Good morning, SRS. Ladies come in, old people come in with clothes. You can bring your clothes and shoes down any time you want, madam. All the housewives and people like that that come in are nice people. Morning, I've got some clothes I need to get rid of. Oh, okay. Breaks it up from having to deal with dirty blokes all day. I brought my clothes in because I don't need them anymore. These were my mum's. Don't like them, don't need them, so I need to get rid of them and I need some petrol money as well. Is that yours? <gasps> That shouldn't be in there. I prefer a clean woman to a dirty bloke any day. Quote me on that. A yo-yo spins slower than my love life does. I'm in business with my wife. Kiss a kiss. 
Come on, just a little one. My relationship with my wife and business partner is turbulent. We disagree on everything. Thank just you. one kiss and then I won't no. want another one. No. I'm not sure whether she's talking to me at the moment. Just kiss. No. On camera. I don't really want to. Why? I've come from a corporate background, whereas John's just been a dosser for most of his life, as far as I'm concerned. She don't like me on a Monday, the night's been a Tuesday. Can you get off me, please? Thank you. I decide what happens. I might get a few rubs later, if she has a drink. But I doubt it. Well, he's supposed to do sales, but he gets bored of that, don't he? You can't have a business and get on with the person you're married to. It won't happen. I have to put him in his place. Because when two strong-minded people have got two different opinions that go in two different directions, you're going to clash. Like, it's not even one of my children, because my children are more mature <laughs> than John. But I like her all the time, I love her. She only starts smiling when she's taking the piss out of me. It's the only time she smiles. One day we were arguing, he put my phone in a bucket of washing up liquid. The secret of love is very, very simple. It's watch a film called Face with Robert Carlyle and Ray Winston in it. One gunman turns to the other one and says, how come you've been married for so long? The other gunman says, well, it's kindness and might have been understanding. He got killed in the end anyway. John always says that I don't love him and I show him no affection. Hello, Mummy. Don't take the deal. All right, then. John yeah, just said that you are, you rang to ask for the deal time. <laughs> John just said that you rang up to ask, ask, ask for the deal dough. For the deal dough. Deal dough. <laughs> I love her. Sometimes she loves me. I'm the manager of The Metal Yard and Vintage Grams, which is an online clothing company. Because men are not used to seeing a woman in a scrap metal yard, they actually comment how clean our yard is all the time. It's all about the knowledge of what you're doing, what you're buying. If you make a mistake, you could lose the business a lot of money. This is Vintage Grams. We get clothes prepared, we retrend them. Retrending is when you've got somebody else's item and you do your own thing to it. We will get a pair of jeans. These are Levi 501s. We've cut them. We've um, got some material and we've added onto the pocket just to make it our own. We bought these dresses off of a lady. Well, you're going to need to take your bras off, aren't My you? My bras hiding. She obviously couldn't sell them on or whatever. We're just dressing up, having a fun photo shoot and looking like we're getting married today. This is Leroy. I will marry Leroy one day, yes. Because I love him and we're going to get married one day. Once everything's prepared on the rail, it gets numbered and uploaded straight to the website. And also we're at the market stall as well. So we've got some lovely dress, I mean we've got this which is um, 3 50 but I'll do it for £3 All right. for you. Alright, wonderful. I mean, we've been in the scrap metal business for about three years now. I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. We just wanted to do something a little bit different. We started to make our own t-shirts and just had a lot of fun. We were just experimenting and I just cut out a heart and put it on there and just sprayed. This is Sasha, my wonderful daughter. Today I'm having a bit of a bad eyebrow day, but sometimes you have a good eyebrow day and it's a good day and then sometimes you don't and you just get back up again and wearing eyelashes because my friends like wearing eyelashes and they look really nice like when you go out and stuff but now I can't stop. I can have different shapes every day, I can have square ones, round ones, I can have them up here if I want to see, I've one up here, one down. <laughs> oh my god, look at them over there, get a grip of yourself. <laughs> just having them out over the summer with her new vintage garments company. I don't like John, like, and I never liked him. 
that's actually the one thing that we probably do. Yeah, that's the only It's like the whole atmosphere between us probably changes a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? He just annoys me, so mature and the way he acts. He just, he just, like when he comes into a room, my face is just like, like you see, my face goes sour. But talk of the devil. What is he doing with this? I don't boy? know. Like, it's not a good look. Because this might look odd, but the tattoos say a different message. We've got Zoe, Maya, my daughter, my wife and my stepdaughter. And the dog. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. <laughs> <laughs> business was set up so I don't have to be poor anymore. This is what the industry of scrap metal gets you if you work hard. I want to be rich. It doesn't say bim at all. Music won't let me do it. Dancing won't let me do it, but scrap metal might. That says buy metal. That's what scrap metal brings you. Enough said. I wanted to be a flash twat when I couldn't afford to be one. One new email. I had to convince people I was a flash twat. I don't have to convince anyone of anything now. So I can be a mediocre flash idiot as opposed to a flash twat. No, a mediocre semi-flash idiot as opposed to a fully blown flash twat. We've got CCTV cameras. I wouldn't like to use the word spy, but what I think it is is looking at people without knowing. Spencer, please treat the customer you are serving with politeness and respect. That's why we've got CCTV. The piece of equipment that we're now going to show you is a shear, which means it cuts things in half. It cuts hands in half and feet in half if you stick them in there. I deal with people the same way I deal with animals. Fetch! Be kind. Go over there with it. See? He knows all the tricks. I feel sorry for people that can't help themselves. Fuck over the people that can help themselves. Look, leave the cup where it is. Leave the magazines where they are and just leave the bed. Karma. It goes around and comes around. Right, I'm going now. Yeah. Yeah, all right then. Yeah, yeah. See you later, Mum. If I do something nice today, something nice will happen to me tomorrow. Being reasonably good at doing what I do. In fact, I'm the best at doing what I do get satisfaction out of that. Other than money, what else is there in my life that I really want? Inner peace. I'm breathing in. That means after hardship comes relief. Because I've got plenty of hardship and not enough relief. Two minutes of inner peace every day so I can just recharge the batteries, turn my mind off. Behind every great man is a great woman. Sonia makes it actually work on a day-to-day -day basis. It's very hard to like John for too long a period because he's always wanting to start an argument. Hisira Hisara on this arm, which is Swahili for anger brings damage and loss, because that's the only thing that's ever fucking brought me. Why don't you do an impersonation of a normal person for a change? She can have this company, I don't care. I'd rather have a nice wife. We've got some Chinese stuff here that won't even order me an egg fried rice. Yeah, I love my wife. She's a bitch, but I love her. The world breaks everyone, and afterwards many are stronger in the broken places. I'd like to be happy. As long as you remember that the customer is the most important person, you can't fail. And just be honest with me. That's what they'll write on my gravestone. Be honest with me. Do you, do you, do you not want like a ending shot? <laughs>